having a job in medical school. Is it even possible? Is it even worth it? That's exactly what we'll talk about in this episode. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the MD Journey, a channel completely dedicated to helping you succeed on your medical journey, but doing it with less stress. My name is Lux. I'm an internal medicine physician and resident in training. And in case you're new here, here we make videos and podcast episodes about pretty much every element of your medical school journey. So if you guys are interested, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and like button. Today we are talking about jobs and whether or not you can actually have one in medical school, whether or not it's a good idea and how to actually make it work if you choose that it's something that you have to do or something that you would want to do. Now, is it even possible to have a job during medical school? And the answer is yes. Um, actually, we'll share a few examples that I had during my own experience. Uh, during my first few years, I actually worked in the student center. Uh, so I was like the person who would check in people while they were going to the rec center and I would basically be doing my homework um, or studying um, while I was checking people in or like selling them Gatorade after they had played some basketball or gone to the gym. Um, so that was a nice job because I could definitely, you know, do my studying and lecture, listening and uh, reviewing uh, while kind of sitting at a desk. Then towards the end of my med school kind of career, I was also working as like a scoreboard keeper for like the intramural basketball games. I was working as anatomy teaching assistant, which definitely paid really well um, and definitely enforced me to study a lot of my anatomy. So to answer the question, is it possible to have a job? Absolutely, you can. Um, it's obviously very nice and conducive if you can have a job that's designed around your medical school schedule. So something that's working in a library, uh, working at a rec center where you can just kind of be behind a desk um, and do your work ideally, or something where you can use your medical knowledge, like an anatomy teaching assistant or a tutor. Those are fantastic jobs to use. Now, whether it's worth it really just kind of depends on how well you are at time management. Now, by this time I had really figured out how many hours I needed to study in medical school and I still had enough hours left in the day to say, well, why not make some money um, instead of sitting at home and doing the same thing. So um, definitely was able to use those skills. But if you're somebody who's struggling with your time management, if you're struggling getting through all your work done in a day, adding a job on top of it is probably not the most uh, advantageous thing to do. Now, obviously there's gonna be some of you who are watching this video who will need a job because maybe you're supporting yourself or a family. And at that point, you know, extra income really does go a long way. So a few tips and advice I would give to you in those situations is one, ideally try to do it at a part-time situation if you're able to. Two, definitely try to have a visual of your calendar of kind of what responsibilities you wanna click where for medical school as well as your work. So if you're working in the evenings on a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, that means you really have to use the most out of Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Those nights can't be spent for TV. They can't be spent for hanging out with friends or significant others. They really have to be spent, you know, doing your studying and reviewing for exams. That way, while you are working, you know, if you don't have the advantage of studying while you're at your job, then you can just work without feeling that stress and guilt of whether or not you'll be able to do well in an exam. So ideally for most med students, I don't recommend a full-time job just because obviously uh, it's one not probably not possible. And even those jobs where you're working like every single evening, it's a little bit unrealistic. But I do recommend that if you choose to go down that route, then you really have a visualization, a calendar kind of schedule uh, where you can say, these are the blocks that I have open to work. And these are the blocks that I've given to myself in studying. Here on this channel, I'm pretty notorious of saying schedule your priorities first and then fit your studying in um, into your schedule. Well, in this situation, I'd probably do the opposite where I would say, well, one of my priorities is to work, fine, these are the hours that I'm dedicating to studying. So even if I was offered a shift during this time, I would not take it. But those are the things that I would do potentially if you are looking to have a job to potentially, you know, make an extra income for your family, yourself, or either easily pay off your loans or just have some spending money. Just make sure you're prioritizing your studying because med school will get even more overwhelming if you add a job on top of it. So for most people, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Or at least I would say wait until you have your productivity down. Maybe wait until your first year of medical school is done. So then you have your studying routine definitely in the bag. Um, and then you can start making more money during your second, your third, and definitely, definitely your fourth year of medical school where you probably aren't doing very much. And those of you that have graduated medical school, you know what I mean. So is it possible to have a job? Absolutely. Is it worth it in terms of the money? Yeah. But you know, most of the time you probably won't get paid a crazy amount unless you're like a tutor, which in those situations, the money may be worth the time that you're spending into it. But just keep in mind the time that you're now probably going to be sacrificing for studying and that just requires you to be a little bit more efficient. And I know this video is a little bit more quick and to the point, but sometimes I just need to start making videos that just answer a simple question just like 
like this one. But if you guys have more pressing questions that you would like me to make a future episode or video about, then go ahead and add it in the comment section down below if you're watching on YouTube, or let me know on the emails through the mdjourney.com at gmail.com. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, definitely consider leaving an honest review on iTunes as helps us grow as a podcast itself. And finally, if you have other questions, you want more direct access to me to be able to answer your pressing questions, then definitely consider checking out the MetaLead Academy to get basically Q&A access to me on a weekly basis that I can link down below. And if you want to give out the full platform a try for a whole week, you can for just $1. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop your comments down below and questions down below as well. Hit that like and subscribe button before you leave. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of my journey. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends. Peace.